Hello, welcome back. Now what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to get ahead in your onions and your garlic. Now it's the beginning of February so it's too early to put them both in the ground. You need to wait until sort of March time when the soil starts to warm up. But instead of leaving them in their bag and more of them going a little bit soft and then you can't use them, I thought I'd give them a little bit of a head start and see if it makes any difference to them growing slightly bigger. Now I'll show you the onions first. I've got Corrado and I've also got Hercules. Now you get the tiny little onion sets. I've done most of them but I'm just going to show you the last two. The tiny little onion sets like this and these should grow into nice big onions and I'll show you what I've been doing and I hope you've been saving your toilet rolls. Now all you need is loads of toilet rolls. If you haven't been saving them start saving them now because we're going to use them as a uh, pots and we don't need to then take the plants out we can just plant them straight in the soil and the toilet roll will biodegrade so get your toilet roll cut it in half if you've got a kitchen roll you'll need to cut it in four and all you need to do is fill it with some compost put one hand at the bottom so it doesn't fall out okay fill it right to the top push it down nice and firm and then you just need to stick your onion in the middle so it's just poking out of the top like that and then we'll put it in a tray and we'll leave them there until they need to go out in the ground and then all we do is we just take this toilet roll and we just put it in the soil I'll show you that when I do it so there we are and that's all those onions done and we'll put the label with them and the garlic is exactly the same here I've got eight cloves of garlic and remember what I said last time don't use garlic from the supermarket because it may well have a virus in it now what you need to do is you need to break your garlic bulb open and you need all the individual cloves every single individual clove doesn't matter how small they are if you come across any that are soft or that have started to go a little bit green and mouldy you don't plant those because they won't grow if I left this one in its bulb it would rot all the rest of them okay so this is why we're taking them out and we're going to plant them exactly the same as the onions okay so let's just get another toilet roll well, that one's a kitchen roll so we'll cut this in four We'll need lots of these because we're going to put runner beans in them and all sorts of bits and pieces. Okay, so just fill it up with soil again. I'll just show you how to do one, but they're exactly the same as the onions. Get one clove, make sure the bottom of the clove is down. Okay, you want the little pokey uppy bit at the top. Just push it in like that. There we are some of these have already started sprouting already so they do need to start going in but it's too cold for them outside so I'll carry on doing all of those well just work your way through all your onions whether they're red ones or whether they're, they're brown ones or white onions and all your garlic as well and then when March comes we've got another month to go then they can start going in the soil because the soil will be nice and warm okay so I hope you find that useful and I'll see you soon bye bye <music>